Much of what we do throughout our lives is because we are seeking happiness. It is what determines the food we eat, and it's what decides the movies we watch and most other choices we make. Even though we spend their lives chasing happiness, it seems that we get to actually experience it only a few times in our life. In this video, you will learn six disturbing things about happiness. You will discover that many of your attempts at being happy might have been in vain. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guilt. Number one, you may be incapable of happiness. Our genes are responsible for many things, so it is quite plausible that it can determine how happy we will be as well. Researchers from the University of Minnesota found a definite link between the happiness levels of twins that had been separated at birth. They shared the exact same happiness level in spite of building two totally different lives. Researchers in London found a specific gene that seems to determine if a person will be happy or miserable. After asking over 2,500 Americans how they felt about their lives, they discovered that those who had inherited two long versions of the gene were more likely to be happy. Number two, happiness is declining. Most people would think that society today should be much happier, especially with all of today's comforts and technologies. But this is simply not the case, as happiness is proving to be more elusive, especially for adults. A study published in Social, Psychological, and Personality Science evaluated 1.3 million Americans from the ages of 13 to 96 years old. Generally speaking, it had been thought that as people age, they figure out more about their life and become happier as they learn how to deal with life's curveballs. But the study revealed otherwise. Starting in the year 2010, the age and happiness correlation disappeared. They discovered that actually teenagers and young adults were much happier. But when people reached their 30s, their happiness level plummeted. Number three, mistaking pleasure for happiness. Despite all the time we spend searching for happiness, it is very possible that we are doing it wrong by chasing the wrong things. For instance, if we seek happiness in alcohol or in eating sweet foods, then we are mistaking pleasure for happiness. In fact, oftentimes we find ourselves in a very dangerous place when we begin seeking pleasure in alcohol and drugs. Our pleasures can then become life-destroying addictions. When we learn that happiness comes from within ourselves and does not require anything external, then that is the only way we will actually ever find it. Number four, putting value on our time will make us miserable. When we humans were introduced to the phrase, quote, time is money, end quote, we began finding ourselves with less free time and it became harder to enjoy free time when we had it. Technology began to create devices that were designed to save more time during our days. At first, we thought our lives would be better with, and we'd be blessed with more and more free time, as these new devices kept saving time for us. But that's not what happened at all. Instead, we began to put higher and higher values on our work, and the pace of life got faster. The important part of our day was the part that made money, not our free time, which was supposed to make us happier. So the more we earn, the more we work, because we believe that is the best thing we can do with our free time. Number five, the benefits of low expectations. Pessimists will tell you that they benefit from not being able to be disappointed because they don't expect anything good to happen. Researchers have discovered that this is not just a saying, there's actually a mathematical formula that proves it. This formula is very complex but it basically measures just how much happiness you will derive from a given activity based on your expectations going into it. It then factors in the potential rewards, expectations, risk, and outcomes. They discovered that it wasn't what people had that determined their overall happiness. Instead, it was what they had relative to others. And low expectations led to happiness more than anything else. This factor was 
constant with all sorts of different people. Number six, vacations don't help. Dream vacations are usually high on people's list of things that make them feel happy. But research has shown vacations fall way short of having this expected impact. A study followed 1,530 people over 32 weeks. During the study, 974 of them went on vacation. After monitoring their happiness level throughout the study, it was found that vacations had very little impact on their happiness level. And the small impact that was observed did not last very long. Interestingly, it was the anticipation and excitement about going on the trip that indicated the highest levels of happiness. If you learned something new from my video, then subscribe to my channel right now. Let me know which of these six disturbing facts about happiness you found most compelling and interesting. Leave a comment below with your thoughts.